Okay. Um, so something a little different today. I'm not streaming Pokemon. I'm not streaming PS2. I am streaming GameCube. And if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, it is a uh, Day of Reckoning video. Um, let's watch this intro together. See, back in the day for WWE games, you used to have different options. Uh, different, um, the different consoles had their own individual uh, series, if you want to call them that. And while uh, they were all made by THQ, um, they were still exclusive to that particular console. For example, um, Xbox had the Raw series, and then uh, they also had a WrestleMania 21 game, but a lot of people don't like to talk about that one. Um, We'll get into that another day. Uh, PlayStation, of course, had the SmackDown and SmackDown vs. Raw series. And then GameCube um, initially was going to have the WrestleMania series because they had uh, WrestleMania 18 and 19 come out. But then they had the Day of Reckoning series as well. So, um, yeah, it was an uh, embarrassment of riches for me as a kid. I, I had all three consoles because I was a little bit spoiled. I was the only boy, you know. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, wrestling games were getting pumped out. Seemingly by the dozens. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Great time to be a wrestling fan and a video game fan. Um, and this year we don't even have a 2K game coming out. Unless you want to count Battlegrounds. But uh, I don't. Alright, so uh, <clears throat> before I went live on stream today, I uh, messed around for longer than I'd like to admit in the Create a Superstar mode. And I... Uh, created some kind of luchador looking guy um, so that's what we're gonna play with today I named him Mithril because I didn't want to name him Meth Rollins which is usually my, uh, my username for games but uh, I didn't want to create an alternate reality where Tyler Black would have to switch his ring name because Meth Rollins and Seth Rollins are too similar. So uh, we're going with Mithril. People still probably call me Meth for short. I put that as my short name. So uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. Oh boy, look at those starting attributes. Those are not pretty. So I have them as a high flyer, just for the... I don't know. I'm not sure how much that's going to matter. Um, it might affect the distribution of skills. It might just affect move sets. But uh, I feel like if you're going to be a luchador, you gotta you got to be able to fly high. Which I know is not always the case, but uh, that's how I wanted it. So yeah, this is correct. We're going to work our way up the ranks here, from developmental to the big leagues.
which is there where our WWE trainers can take a look at you up close and help you effectively build and utilize your skills and ring techniques. It won't be glamorous or easy for you, but if you can prove yourself there, you'll likely be promoted to some appearance on WWE Sunday Night Heat. If and only if you prove yourself on Heat. Well then, the time may come when you'll be assigned to either the Raw or SmackDown brand rosters. I hope this conversation doesn't go much longer. I don't think I can hang. I don't think I can hold up this impression much longer. And at that time, I'll be only too happy to present you with your first WWE contract. I trust that you'll find this all acceptable. You bet. Thanks, Mr. McMahon. Fine. So I expect you to report to WWE Developmental immediately. I'm certain that they'll want to get you involved in some tune-up matches right away. I wish you good luck. All right, we got ourselves a developmental deal. It's a start. I must say, I love how the GameCube controller feels in my hands. I missed it. <clears throat> All right. I do a quick little save, and then we'll get busy. I have completely forgotten how to play, so this should be interesting. Don't even remember a little bit how to play. Alright. Let's head on out. <clears throat> Report to WWE Developmental. Jonathan Coachman, the coach. Hey, excuse me. I saw you walk in. You are... My name is Math. Math. Right. Well, in any case, there's no need for me to introduce myself. I'm sure you already know Jonathan Coachman, the coach. The coach. Known today from his uh, Madden NFL appearances. Now everyone knows that the coach has done just about everything there is to do in this company. Commentary, interviewing, even wrestling. And I'm the best there is. I've won pay-per-view matches, and I've even been the protege to the great Eric Bischoff. So, as you can imagine, there's no assignment that Mr. McMahon himself would not personally entrust to the coach. And that's why when the WWE needed an extra talent scout to evaluate a new batch of up-and-coming rookies in the beginning stages of their careers, they turned to me. So do yourself a favor. Always listen to what the coach has to say. I can make careers or I can break them. So it pays to follow my instructions. Got it? Um, sure. Okay, great. So I've got your first WWE developmental match coming up right now. If you want the coach to be impressed, just go out there and win it. Well, damn. I forgot how good this story is. And, uh, not everything needs to be voiced over for it to be have a good story, you know? Like, that writing was perfect. That's, that's exactly how the coach would sound in that situation, you know? <clears throat> so I like it. Here we are, making our debut here. Public enemy playing us out. Can you guess the entrance template I used? Hundred points to the first one to guess. And are we going against a generic superstar? It would appear so. Let's get in here. I think it's A to grapple, B to strike. I'm going against Joey Rock. So I didn't know that by putting in my short name, that would just be what people call me. So no one's going to call me Mithril. Just what I wanted them to call me. That's quite all right. All right, Joey. Let's see what you got. Okay, 
it's, it'll come back to me a little bit here. Feels good. I always like the controls of the GameCube games. Uh oh, Boston Crab. They actually grabbed the robes too, that's pretty nice. Okay, so R to reverse um, grapples, I think, and L to reverse strikes. Is that how they do it? Or is it just straight R? Busting out a pile driver in developmental here. So the action is certainly slower than in the SmackDown games, but um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Taking a beating here. You probably pin him. How do you pin here? X? Nope, oh, that's to pick him up. Oh man, some counters from Joey. So it's down and A to pin. What are they saying? Are they chanting Joey? Or are they saying holy? If they're saying holy, I'm very flattered. Wow, we were able to pick up the win. Taunt here. I didn't edit my taunts at all, so I don't know what they are. Was, there's really nothing special about that match. I'm surprised it even got a B, to be honest. Let's see if we can upgrade any attributes here. Okay. Um, Charisma is pretty important here. You you want to be able to get to your finisher as quick as possible. So, um, but I also like doing damage for my moves. We'll, we'll bump, we'll prioritize strength first. We'll try to get that to like seven before we do other stuff. I'm gonna have to save it after every match here. Just cause you never know. This game kind of this game kind of predates the autosave feature that would become just a staple in today's games. Five minutes. Am I really low on the camera? Should I up my seat a little bit? Is that a little bit better? Now I feel really high up. Right. I've got to admit, you showed me something out there in your last match. But don't kid yourself. It's going to take a lot more than that to impress the coach. So for your next match, not only do you need to win, but I also want to be sure that you can finish off an opponent quickly if you're asked to. So you got five minutes to win your next match. Five minutes. That's an eternity in uh, WWE video game time. 
so I don't think it should be an issue. Oh, look at that guy. Looks like a caveman. Jeez. Oh, he's even got the Scott Steiner entrance there. That guy is huge. Are they not testing these guys in developmental? Yeah, I should probably shut my window. You guys probably hear a bunch of background noise. I'm such a noob streamer. Brad Brixton. You've got five minutes to defeat your opponent. I think we can do it. <clears throat> I think we can pull that off. If he's anything like uh, Joey in our last match, he should be all right. If you're uh, curious what my finisher is, I, I, I think it's the Michinoku driver. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I think I do a shooting star press off the top rope. Elbow drops for days. Shades of Dolph Ziggler with those spam elbow drops. Okay, so I think it might be R to reverse strikes and L to reverse counters in this. And Brixton is actually uh, showing he's no slouch here. laid out there. That didn't take long. One, two. They like to dish out those pile drivers here. A little Shane McMahon dance in there it looks like. Top rope here. We are a high flyer after all. Oof, good counter there from Brixton. I'd like to do some limb damage to him. I don't know if we did limb damage at all to the last guy. We were still able to pick up the win. Interesting, right? There you go. He's got a yellow head. Alright, we're over halfway there, so. We don't have all the time in the world. And then I think it's A and B at the same time to use a finisher once you get it. Close to having that finisher there. countered and that automatically gives Brixton a finisher there we go that's our finisher right there that should be enough to put him away One, two, three. so it took us just over three minutes keep the change coach <clears throat> and we're rolling here Got an A for that one. It may not be a bad idea to put. Some, well, obviously we got to get all these attributes up at, at some point, uh, but uh, it may not be a bad idea to put one into like our uh, counter skill here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That tough time countering. I know 
I just went back on what I said in the previous level up where I said I'm going to get the strength 7 before I do anything else. I love the GameCube controller. This, this right here, they did it right here. It's got to be Nintendo brand also. Nintendo brand GameCube controllers. They just feel the best, they're the most responsive. Still, after all these years, all the hell I probably put this controller through. Still, in, still kicking. Okay. Enough about that. Meet Mr. Heyman. Ladies and gentlemen. Ponytail Paul Heyman. Mr. Heyman, Mr. Heyman. I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. My name is Mr. Heyman. This is the new guy I was telling you about. Please let me introduce um Hmm. What was your It's meth. Like I said, Mr. Heyman, it's an honor to meet a former WWE GM such as yourself. I don't think Mr. Heyman is going to take too kindly to being known as a former WWE GM. I'm sure it is. Coach, he doesn't look like much, but you can't always judge a book by its cover. I'm here watching some of our developmental talent tonight. What can I expect from you? He's still a little rough around the edges, but he does have a few interesting moves. Well, as you know, a man such as myself is always looking for performers with a little attitude and panache. So in your match tonight, why not show off some style? That's a great idea, Mr. Heyman. Meth, in your match tonight, why don't you show Mr. Heyman your finishing move? Only, just to make sure he notices it, do it twice. You want me to hit my finisher twice? Okay, no problem. I can do that. Might be able to do it on one, uh, one charged special. Because you have a set amount of time to do as many finishers as you can in that allotted time period, so. Provided everything goes right. I mean, gotta account for counters and stuff always, of course. Who we against tonight? Wow. Look at this guy. He thinks he's a Dudley boy. Look at that animation. Wing Su Ye. It's time to throw down, Wing Su. Here we go. Ding ding. He countered the elbow drop. 30 minute time limit. Wouldn't that be something if this match went 30 minutes? Just a five star classic here in developmental. I want to do a strike when he's up. Come on. Oh no, that taunt took forever. We're still able to get it off. So like the soundtrack is not terrible on here, right? But it's like so limited. There's like the same three songs play over and over again. Gotta remember that, uh, gotta hit two finishers here. Gotta impress Mr. Heyman. Maybe we could be a Paul Heyman guy. I mean, I remember, uh, for the most part, how this, uh, how this story plays out. Ooh. We missed that flying back elbow. Kind of like, uh, kind of reminds me of Darby Allen's coffin drop. Straight up punches. Yeah, we're getting 
gaining a lot of momentum here. I love the momentum system in this one. Just seems fair. Okay, here we go. How do I lift him again? Oh my god, I'm tilting here. Oh my goodness, I completely just had a brain fart here if I would have picked up an opponent. That was really bad. What a waste of a finisher. How do you do it? X. Damn, I just wasted. <laughs> I just had a total brain fart. Gotta watch out, he has a... He's able to shift the momentum of the match with like a low blow or something with that AB, that's what that is. Alright, so we're gonna have to fill the momentum bar twice here. Gotta be careful though, I don't want to submit him. That'd be bad. Spamming our elbow drops again. Don't want to pin him. I'll hit another splash though, why not? We're really putting the beat down on wing here. Just practice lifting here. Ooh! Didn't expect him to pop off like that. Here comes the money. Would appear I don't have a, like a, just a regular stomp. It's gotta be a elbow. So get used to seeing those elbows. Ooh, nice sidewalk slam reversal from Wing, and he's getting close to getting a finisher of his own. Nope, didn't want to do that. We're so close here. All right, here we go. This time we're gonna hit him. There's one. Let's see if we can get off another one. There we go. Got there. Now to pin the bugger. That one almost went the full five minutes. Another one. Making a name for ourselves here in developmental. And we only got a B for that one. There wasn't a lot of back and forth, so I wouldn't expect it to get a high rating. Strength up again. And now strength's at a point where you need 15 to upgrade it, so. Let's save again. Always gotta save. See what lies ahead for us now. See if we impress Paul Heyman. V07. I remember this. Matt Hardy, version 1. <laughs> Meth, I want you to meet Matt Hardy. 
He's here in the WWE developmental for a little while to rehab his right leg. Like, how cool is this? You know what I mean? Like, how cool is this story right now? Pretty good character model in Matt Hardy, too. He strained some ligaments back on Raw a few weeks ago. Nice to meet you, Matt. You can call me Matt Hardy V07, since I'm only at about 70% right now. Yeah, I'm about at 70%, so the trainers want me to work a few matches down here to make sure I'm good to go on TV. That's where you come in, Matt. You and Matt are going to have a match tonight. And what you need to do is test out Matt's legs. That sounds extreme, but don't worry. You won't do any more damage to them using standard wrestling moves and submissions. Give me all you got. I'm sure I can take it. So to succeed in this match, you need to work Matt's legs as best as you can. And then see if you can make him submit. Got it? Work the legs and go for a submission. Alright, we gotta make Matt Hardy tap out here. and uh, Hopefully he is only at 70%, because if he's got his full attributes, uh, we could be in a little bit of trouble here. See if we get a Matt fact right now. I uh, played as Matt Hardy version one in my uh, SmackDown. Here comes the pain season mode. You can see all the videos for that in my YouTube library. No, because we're in developmental, I guess we're not going to see the Titan Tron, which is uh, fair enough. <clears throat> I wonder what this would, where developmental will be at this time. Ohio Valley Wrestling, probably. Oh yeah, sure enough. Those legs are sore. They gotta be real sore if he's immediately holding them. I don't think the doctor should have cleared him if he's got a limp around the ring. Okay, we got a leg like, submission here. Ooh, we don't have a lot of time to try to make him tap though, unfortunately. certainly can tell the difference between, um, you know, Matt Hardy and the uh, rest of the chumps I was facing. Even if he is wounded. Just keep working that leg. Ooh, he's got him on red here. I'm not sure if this is a leg submission per se, but yeah, it must be because look how wounded he is. I don't know if we're going to be able to make him tap, though, to be honest. We don't really have a lot of time here. Our submission skill is no bueno. So close. I guess maybe... We could try just getting our momentum up, draining his, and see if that affects the timing. That's all I can think of right now. Matt's trying to spam that move on us. Only we spam can spam moves over here, buddy. But we don't have him. There we go. Got him. Ooh, we were gonna do some extra damage after the bell there. Alright. Easy. Matt Hardy was easy. We're steamrolling here. Alright. Let's, um, guess we can put one in a submission. And, uh, how about charisma? Moving on up here. Do a quick save game, and then I think I might, uh, call it here. We'll 
pick this up later. But I like this. This has been a lot of fun. It's been a jolly old time here. This could be the uh, next series. All right, yeah, uh, thanks for joining me and uh, playing along with me. If you're not watching this live, then please make sure you follow me or subscribe, um, whichever of the two, because uh, then you get notified when I go live. And uh, that's good, because I go live at sporadic times. So if you're following, you will not be caught off guard. Well, you'll still be caught off guard, but at least you'll know when I'm doing it, if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Now to watch this back and find out that my audio levels were just terrible, because <laughs> that happens frequently. Alright guys, until next time.